This is a quick preview of the developments going into Power System 3.0. 3.0 will use these same canisters, but it won't use the same valve, uh, the, the one that's built into them. Instead, they will go into a brass fitting, which seals around the valve, and then use my own valve to, to throttle them. So now I can just drop in a new tank and press it all the way to, down to compress its own valve, and then I control the flow by turning the screw on my own valve. And that gives me uh, extremely precise control over the size of the flame. Within about a half a turn of the screw, I can go from a small flame to a very large flame. And this is all done just by turning the screw on that valve. This is what's going on inside of this valve. Uh, it's made out of this solid block of aluminum and the tube passes through it and the tube is unbroken so there's no potential for leaks inside the valve. Um, there's a channel drilled out from this end which is plugged right here. Uh, it has a ball bearing sitting in it and that's 1 8 which is the same diameter as the tube. That ball bearing gets pushed up and down by this control screw uh, so that it, it will pinch the tube uh, different amounts by how much you turn the screw. And what will turn that control screw is it's a small servo like this. Uh, and what will control that servo is a uh, small PIC microcontroller. And this is running a preliminary piece of code that I wrote that will hold the valve off until I can click the button to low, click the button back to off, and then from either state I can hold down for burst. So here I'm bursting from off, it will go back to off. I can click to low, hold the low flame, and then burst to high from there, go back to low, click back to off. And that button would potentially be sitting on my palm attached to a part of the system so that I could click it on and then move my wrist wherever I wanted and not worry about the size of the flame changing and then burst or click back to off.